we are the Graphic Design School and we teach design qualifications online to people all over the world. And today we are harnessing the power of ChatGPT in a real world design project with great results. In the next part of our AI focused video series, we're going to be showing you how you can use ChatGPT to support you with client work. We'll be taking you through the process of designing a template suite for a real life client. We'll be using Adobe Illustrator to kickstart the process and map out each template design, or we can opt for the basics or you can opt for the basics to sketch out your initial ideas. Next, we'll be moving into Canva to recreate each of the designs and finally hand them over to the client. Now, Canva is a great tool for a number of reasons, but mainly because it's extremely accessible for both designer and client. The client in our video is Cat Haven, and they are WA's largest shelter for homeless and lost cats. To support the organization with their efforts, we've voluntarily offered our design services to support them with some of their ongoing design related tasks. So we've decided to dedicate this week's voluntary hours to refreshing some of their social media templates with the final goal being to create a more cohesive and consistent aesthetic, all whilst using the organization's current visual guidelines. Now, moving on to ChatGPT, I'm going to be using the tool to speed up my workflow a little and conduct a little bit of research. So one of the templates is going to give advice and support on how to settle a cat into the home once it's been fostered or adopted. Now, me being completely clueless when it comes to the process, I'm going to let ChatGPT educate me. Awesome, so I now have three awesome tips on how to settle a cat into a new home. Now, for the next template, I'm going to create a cat profile. And this particular template is going to communicate the cat's personality traits and other information such as age and uh, health requirements, for example. Okay, awesome. So this gives me an idea as to how to compose and put together a cat profile. The next template is going to be a call out for people to consider fostering cats before committing to the adoption process straight away. Now remember, the more specific you are with ChatGPT, the better the results. So I have all of the copy I need without requesting it from the organization directly. Now let's jump into some design. Two hours later. Because I'm creating 100% original designs and will only be using the free elements in Canva to assist me in constructing my templates, I always start the process off in Adobe Illustrator, and this is because it gives me more creative freedom. As you can see, I've already drafted and mapped out the designs. And as previously mentioned, if this isn't an option for you, if you don't have access to Adobe Illustrator, it's not a problem. Thumbnail sketches will do. Now, all I need to do is jump into Canva to recreate the templates. Before jumping into any design project, we like to establish the design principles for focus. In this case, we've chosen hierarchy, balance and unity. So because I'm onboarding a new client and this is more than likely going to be an ongoing relationship, I've already gone ahead and created a brand kit for them. And a brand kit allows you to manage and access all of your client's brand components or assets from within one space. I've set myself up with a blank document. In this case, this is a blank Instagram post and renamed the file so that it's easy to keep track of and were basically organized from the get-go. I have my workspace organized and everything I need is accessible in the editor window. My Cat Haven project folder is ready in the side panel and I have access to the brand kit. Now in the project folder, I've uploaded my draft designs from Illustrator. So I basically exported them as PNGs. So now I'm able to refer to them easily versus going back and forth between windows. So all I'm going to do now is recreate my designs using the reference images to the left 
And throughout this entire process, I'm going to keep the design principles for focus at the forefront of my mind. These help to justify all of my design decisions. Our Design for Social Media course dives into design elements and principles and how to apply them effectively to your designs in a lot more detail. So if you haven't already, be sure to check it out after the video. The goal is to make your templates as easy to use as possible. Your client probably has very little design experience. So remember, if it's difficult to use, then we haven't really done our job properly. One of the things I love about Canva is the, you have the ability to lock elements in place, which might seem excessive, but it does prevent objects from moving and colors being changed, which helps the client and their team to stick to their visual guidelines. Awesome, so on to the next one. Again, I've jumped ahead and created the third template, and this is going to provide the audience with a bunch of tips on settling their cat into its new home. I really like the tips that the AI tool has generated, so I'm going to take this copy and paste it over into the design. Always remember to use these tools responsibly and always review and update any AI generated text. So the majority of our templates are complete. Remember, if you don't want elements being moved or updated, you can lock these in place. To keep the template suite cohesive, I'm simply going to continue to copy and paste elements from one template to another. Okay, so now we've finally finished the template suite. Let's take a look at the client's current Instagram and what we're about to deliver to them. Easy, accessible, and consistent with their design system applied. 